In today's society, we are encouraged to pack our schedules with countless tasks and experiences to expand our horizons and improve our lives. However, we can't do it all, and trying to do so may lead to cluttered closets and unfulfilled schedules. Instead, we should focus on identifying what is essential to our happiness and well-being and cutting out everything else. By doing so, we can perform the most vital tasks to the highest standards and achieve true fulfillment. In these extracts you'll learn all about how to identify the essential things in your life and what you can do to cut out everything else, thus giving you the mental and emotional fortitude to perform those most vital tasks to the highest standards possible. Before we begin, we publish new content every week. So, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications about our latest content. Extract 1, Getting Our Priorities Straight, The Power of Essentialism In today's fast-paced world, we often struggle to identify our priorities amidst the flood of tasks and responsibilities. Even when we try to prioritize, we end up with too much on our plates, which hinders our productivity. The solution to this problem lies in adopting essentialism. Essentialism is about doing less but doing it better. It involves constantly questioning ourselves and updating our plans accordingly, choosing specific directions in which we can excel, and wasting no time in implementing changes once our vital tasks have been distilled from the trivial many. However, many of us are far from being essentialists. We tend to believe that we should accomplish everything, make tiny progress in many directions, and struggle to let go of less important things. Essentialism requires ongoing effort and the willingness to cut out what's not essential. By adopting essentialism, we can get our priorities straight, achieve greater productivity, and focus on what matters most to us. In the following extracts, we'll learn more about the essentialist approach and how it can transform our lives. Extract 2, Regaining Your Power to Choose, Overcoming Learned Helplessness Many of us have fallen into the trap of learned helplessness, losing control of our ability to choose and approaching our lives with passivity. This can lead us down a non-essential path where we surrender our power to choose and give others permission to choose for us. When we think our efforts are futile, we tend to respond in two ways, either giving up completely or becoming overly active and accepting every opportunity presented to us. However, simply doing everything does not mean we are exercising our power to choose what is best for us. To regain our power to choose, we must first become aware of our thought patterns and shift from saying, I have to, to, I choose to. We must also learn to prioritize and say no to non-essential activities, taking control of our lives and making conscious choices. By doing so, we can avoid the trap of learned helplessness and become the ones who offer the possible choices, holding the real power in our lives. The Power of Doing Few Vital Things Well, Lessons from Southwest Airlines Southwest Airlines achieved remarkable success by adopting a key principle of essentialism, focusing on doing a few vital things extremely well. Instead of offering customers many choices and frills, Southwest focused solely on getting passengers from one point to another. This approach allowed them to make trade-offs and concentrate their resources on providing excellent service, leading to their success. However, not all companies have been able to adopt this approach successfully. Continental Airlines tried to copy Southwest's strategy by creating a separate brand, Continental Light, to offer budget services while continuing with their traditional airline. This led to operational inefficiencies and a lack of price competitiveness, ultimately causing the company to lose millions. To adopt the essentialist approach, we must be willing to make trade-offs and concentrate on what is truly essential. We often fall into the trap of thinking we can do it all, but in reality, Focusing on a few vital things leads to greater success and fulfillment. The following extracts will provide guidance on how to identify what is essential and cut out everything else, allowing us to focus on what truly matters. Extract 4, The Art of Escaping, How Embracing Boredom Can Help You Focus on What's Essential In today's fast-paced world, boredom is often seen as something to be avoided at all costs. However, Taking the time to escape and embrace boredom can actually be beneficial for our well-being and productivity. 
By clearing a break in our schedules every day, we give ourselves the opportunity to think clearly and assess which tasks are truly essential. This technique has been used by some of history's greatest minds, including Newton and Einstein, as well as modern-day CEOs who schedule blank space in their calendars for thinking. By focusing on the bigger picture and keeping a journal of essential tasks, we can avoid getting lost in the day-to-day -day and ensure that we are always concentrating on what's truly important. In short, embracing boredom and taking the time to escape from our busy schedules can help us focus on what's essential and achieve greater productivity and fulfillment in our lives. Extract 5, Play and Rest, The Vital Tools for an Essentialist Lifestyle in today's society, we tend to view play and rest as unproductive and frivolous, something that should take a backseat to work and productivity. However, for an essentialist, play and rest are crucial tools for inspiration and productivity. Play can help us to develop novel connections between ideas, relieve stress, and analyze tasks. Companies such as Twitter, Pixar, and Google recognize the importance of play in fostering inspired and productive employees. Similarly, rest and sleep should never be viewed as a luxury or a waste of time. Sleep is vital for cognitive function, productivity, and creativity. Studies have shown that going 24 hours without sleep or getting insufficient sleep can cause cognitive impairment equivalent to a 0.1% blood alcohol level. Therefore, rest and sleep should be prioritized as essential components of an essentialist lifestyle. By embracing play and rest, we can free our minds, enhance our productivity, and discover what is truly vital in our lives. Extract 6, The 90% Rule, How to Simplify Your Life and Get Rid of Clutter We often fall into the trap of believing that all our tasks and responsibilities are essential in one way or another, leading to a cluttered and overwhelming life. One way to avoid this trap is to be extreme with our criteria when making decisions about what to keep and what to discard. The 90% rule is a helpful tool in this regard, where we give a score between 0 and 100 to an item based on its importance, and anything that scores less than 90 is discarded. Another approach is to apply the clear yes or clear no method by listing the minimum requirements and ideal criteria for an item and only keeping it if it meets the minimum requirements and at least two of the ideal ones. These methods can be applied to various aspects of life, such as cleaning out a closet, managing tasks, or making important decisions. By simplifying our lives and getting rid of clutter, we can focus on what truly matters and improve our overall well-being. Extract 7, The Power of Saying No, Simplify Your Life and Focus on What Matters When we prioritize what is truly essential to our goals and well-being, we may find ourselves needing to say no to non-essential things, which can be challenging, especially when other people are involved. We fear disappointing others, damaging relationships, or missing out on something by saying no. However, saying yes to everything can lead us to miss out on what really matters. To overcome this, we need to separate the decision from the relationship and be willing to say no when it's in our best interest. By doing so, we can focus on planning the vital tasks that are left over. Having an essential intent is crucial for clear goal setting. It involves having one main, inspirational, and concrete objective. This helps us avoid the vagueness of broad goals and focus on a specific target. We should also check if our goal is clear by asking ourselves how we will know when we've achieved it. By saying no to what's unnecessary and focusing on a clear goal, we can achieve what truly matters to us, even in the face of social pressure. Extract 8, Cut Your Losses and Set Boundaries, The Art of Letting Go Many of us fall prey to the sunk cost bias, where we continue investing time, money, and effort into something that we know is unlikely to succeed. But this only makes it harder for us to let go and increases the amount we are sure to lose. To avoid this trap, we need to develop the courage to admit our mistakes and cut our losses when it's clear that something isn't going to work out. Furthermore, we can prevent this scenario by setting clear boundaries in our lives. While some may see boundaries as unnecessary constraints, they can actually liberate us and make our lives easier and more enjoyable. 
Just like a fence that demarcates where children can play safely, boundaries allow us to focus on what truly matters and use our time better. For instance, setting boundaries between work and family can help us maintain a better work-life balance. By not allowing work to seep into our personal time, we can fully enjoy and cherish the moments we spend with our loved ones. Overall, the art of letting go and setting boundaries can lead to a happier, more fulfilling life. He can be impulsive and he can be irresponsible and I need you to help set him clear boundaries. Extract 9. Mastering Essentialism how to execute your goals with clarity and efficiency. Becoming an essentialist requires not only identifying what is slowing you down, but also eliminating it rather than just working around it. By doing so, you can achieve your goals with clarity and efficiency. For instance, a Boy Scout leader who needed to get his troop to camp before nightfall was struggling with scouts who were much faster than others, leading to some getting left behind. Rather than making stops or switching positions, the essentialist solution was to take some weight out of slower scouts' backpacks and put it in the faster scouts' backpacks. This allowed the group to stay together without slowing anyone down. In addition to eliminating obstacles, an essentialist prepares for potential challenges by assuming that things might go wrong and giving themselves a buffer of 50% of the time they expect a task to take. This approach allows for room to correct anything that may slow them down. By embracing essentialism and executing tasks with clarity and efficiency, individuals can achieve their goals and experience greater success and fulfillment. Extract 10, The Power of Small Wins and Routines in Achieving Success Success is often achieved through small, incremental steps rather than one grand gesture. Small wins create momentum, boost confidence, and help you stay on track. The Richmond Police Department in Canada saw a significant reduction in recidivism rates when they rewarded young people for small, positive actions. This approach replaced previous sweeping measures that had been ineffective. To ensure success, it's important to establish a routine that aligns with your goals. Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps's coach had him visualize the perfect race every night before bed and every morning upon waking. Phelps then replicated this routine in training, ultimately leading to his success in the Olympics. Small steps and routines can be frustrating, but their consequences can be far-reaching. By building upon previous progress and committing to a routine, you can achieve success in a sustainable way. Final Summary In a world where we are constantly encouraged to do more and have more, it can be challenging to identify what truly matters. However, by embracing essentialism and focusing on doing less but doing it better, we can craft a life that is more productive and fulfilling. It's crucial to prioritize the few vital things that are essential to our goals and well-being while eliminating the trivial ones. This requires us to be editors of our own lives, constantly evaluating and cutting out what's unimportant. By doing so, we can excel in the things that matter most and achieve true fulfillment. So, let's embrace essentialism and take action to cut out the unnecessary clutter from our lives.